today I'm out here in Nickel Woods. Uh, I'm going to do something different today. It's been a long time since I dug in dirt. Uh, I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm actually going to screen some privy holes. Uh, I've seen it done on a couple other channels. Um, I have a couple privy sites here that looks like they've been dug back in the late 70s, early 80s, probably for bottles. I don't think they've been screened before, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway and see what I can find. Maybe I can find some old coins, some relics, or who knows what. Maybe I might find nothing. I don't know. But uh, anyway, there's a deep hole over here, and there's another one over here. And um, what I'll do is I'll take the camera and show you guys where I'm going to be digging. I'm going to set everything up, and I'm going to show you guys what I have and what I'm going to use today. Um, pretty much simple. Anybody can do it. Um, I don't even have my metal detector today because something I wanted to try. The ground's pretty dry today, so I'm going to give it a shot and see what I can uh, come up with. Hopefully find some old coins or relics. And where I'm at is actually a place called Nickel Woods. Uh, it used to be an old park here back in the early 1900s to about 1912, 1913. And the reason we call it Nickel Woods is because all the old timers got all the silver out of here and they left all the nickels. We found a lot of V-nickels over the past few years, so we're going to give it a shot and uh, I'll show you guys, give you guys a look around at where I'm at and what these holes look like. And I'm going to dig around the edges of them and screen a few, so see what I can come up with. Okay, well hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see this through the camera, but there's a hole here, and you can see where there's a tree growing through, but you can definitely tell it was dug, I mean I see pieces of glass here, and when I was here last time with my bottle detector, I was just getting so much iron, so I dug a couple of holes, you know, without even running the detector over it, and I was digging up, uh, you know, a piece of old razor and an old uh, oil lantern, so... But there's a hole here, and there's a hole over here, and I'm out here with with Dan and Bernie. They're going to check the creek over there. There's a little creek out, uh, a little bit over there. So we'll check in on them in a little bit. But this is, anyway, I'm going to set everything up, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use and how I set it up. And, um, you know, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first couple of uh, screen fulls. You guys will watch me do it live, see what I come up with, and if I don't find anything good, then I'll turn the camera back on once I do. So, once I get everything set up, I'll, I'll show you guys, but here's everything. This is a portable screen that I made. Um, I just made it out of stuff I had laying around, and I know some of you guys are going to say, oh, what, you know, some of you more professional guys will probably leave comments how you would have did it different, but, you know, this is... This is portable because it's a little bit of a hike through here, through some brush, but basically this is my setup. You know, it's on a swivel, so I just shake it back and forth and screen it. Just a little small, simple, uh, portable, basically for prospecting. If I have luck here, I'm going to build a lot better one with some higher walls in it so I can throw more dirt material in there. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my uh, plastic down. I got the bucket so I can take everything, all the scrap nails or whatever I find. I'm going to take it out of here with me. So I'm going to set all this up. I'm going to set the camera up. And you guys are going to watch my first couple of times um, and see what we can come up with. old pieces of uh, the old blob tops bottles so that's a good sign I mean obviously that's what they dug here for the old bottles so 
uh, you know, pieces of nail. Not old, they're round nails, so that's not too old. I don't see nothing. Uh, just more glass. Seen anything of real interest yet, but that's the first uh, scoop. Yeah, I definitely need to, um, should have made this higher walls, but I mean, this is just a, uh, you know, one for prospecting, so if this place turns out, if I do find something good, I'll make a, a nicer one, come back out here again. Plus that was on the first layer, so I'm gonna dig. Um, I'm gonna dig a couple more, you know, deeper target or deeper shovelfuls of the hole I just made, and see what comes out. And if I don't find anything good, I don't want to bore you guys. I'll shut the camera off and then turn it back on once I do find something good. So, wish me luck. people have already dug so I mean maybe I should be in the hole I don't know I'm just checking around it to see again you know more big pieces of glass nothing too exciting not seeing a whole lot but just garbage so Heck's already starting to kill me. So, anyway, um, this is the second one. I guess again, I'm on the edge of the hole, just throwing stuff that the other originally people dug out, looking for bottles. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the camera off, um, take some some scoops out of the inside of the hole, and if I find anything good, I'll turn the camera back on and show you guys. So, this all might be a waste of time, but. You never know. I mean, I'm hoping to find a couple good coins in there, so. All right, well, I'll turn you guys back on if I find something good. Well, it's been about a half hour, 40 minutes since the last time you guys uh, saw me. But here's my uh, tailing pile. And this is where I'm digging. I'm digging next to the hole. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say in the comments, why didn't you dig in the hole? I mean, I'm sure there's stuff in there, but the stuff they dug out is what I'm just looking for right now. You know, they could have shoveled some coins here. So I'm just digging around their old uh, area where they shoveled the dirt out. And didn't find hardly a whole lot. A lot of time period glass, but I'll show you. I, mean, I did find a piece of this old uh, cork top. Very old pair of pliers or whatever. Um, yeah, not a whole lot. I mean, it's... I wouldn't say it's a waste of time. I mean, it's definitely a great exercise. I mean, I'm working up a sweat just that little bit I dug. I mean, my hat's off to you privy diggers, man. I, it's, it's hard work. It's harder than I thought, but had nothing, nothing spectacular. Uh, just out here doing it for fun. Just showing you guys anybody can do it. But anyway, we're going to walk over here to the creek and see how old Dan and Chicago Digger are doing in the creek. I don't think Dan's in the creek today. I think he was checking out an old foundation site or something not too far. But I'm going to walk over here and uh, see what they found. Yeah, I was just surprised I haven't found a whole lot, but you know, this is my first time ever searching the privy hole. So don't beat me up too bad for it for not finding nothing. Just doing this for fun. I only got a few hours to kill, so. I, didn't, I thought the woods are going to be more overgrown than this, so they're actually not that bad. Should have run. Here's, um, here's a smaller hole. I'll turn the camera around. I know you can't, 
it's hard to see on, on camera, but there's a, an indention right here, so this must have been another site. I don't know if there was a, a, a his and hers back then, I have no idea, but I, mean, I think there's another one way off in the distance too, but I'm not going to check that out today. I'm just going to focus on that site over there, but we'll walk over to the creek here and see what Bernie's doing, if he found anything good or not. Well, this place had a lot of activities back in the day. It, um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but they had like croquet and I actually heard bowling. Had a lot of concession stands. Um, only one silver was found out of here by a buddy of mine, and it was mixed in iron and nails. But I mean, uh, back in the day, the guys hit it pretty good. And you can tell they used older machines because they uh, they left a lot of the nickels. I mean, we found a lot of V nickels out of here, and um, you know, quite a few Indians. Not as many as as we found it with the V-Nickels, but I've found quite a few Indians here also. It's a pretty cool place. But yeah, if they uh, stumble onto some stuff, man, I'm gonna kick myself for not bringing my, my machine with me. Oh, he's down here somewhere. I see the water rippling. Hey, you're not supposed to be in there. <laughs> Will that scare you? A little bit. Is, there, is it all silted in right there? Not here. Here it's actually good. It's down there. It's bad. It's bad. I mean, it's deep in spots. Down there is really bad. Right here it's not bad. I was just going to walk and see if I can get across. Well, somewhere here is where the slide was. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, I found a bunch of bolts on an old uh, ladle. I threw that on the bank. I got tired of carrying it. And, and no that's swim that's buckles or nothing? So is it all rock under there? Lots of rock, yeah, it's rock. Well, that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. But I said, right here it's not so bad. Back there it was nothing but silt. Nothing I would thought the silt cold. would be all right here from everything washing down the bank. It is over there because I, I know when I walked in over there before, that's where the silt was really at. But I didn't come past that, so. Is Dan on the other side? He didn't go in the water. He's in the bank. On, on this side? Did you find it? No, just some junk. A lot of old broken pieces of glass. I can't see it from here. Yeah, it's getting deeper. I'm not going to walk across. It's only about three or four feet deep, though. I'm just trying to walk down along the bank to see what I can find. Well, this, a lot of stuff will probably be more in the middle. I know. That's what I don't want to go all the way down into. Because you can't see shit. I mean, yeah, it gets deeper out there. It's about four feet deep from that. What'd you get? He said it's all rocks right there, so that's a good sign. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I was calling. Did you get anything? Oh, just junk. Pieces of broken bottles. Try the one down here. I don't, I don't remember. When that huh? one was. I don't remember where that one was. It here, was over I'll show here. you. Come here. Yeah, there's a lot of broken bottles in that one over there. I'm just digging along the edges to see what they, uh, well, they shoveled out of the hole. Oh, right. <coughs> the one there, huh? Now you can see all the blob top bottles. Man, this is loaded with glass. Here's the blob top here. So when you guys find these, these are a good sign you're in an old site. There's another one there. I don't remember seeing this one. Looks like somebody been digging here not too long ago. Oh, well, I just dug these, but I just found this right over here. I don't know what it is, but suspender clip. Oh, is that what it is? Maybe. That's what. Yeah, it's probably, probably right. It's got a pad too, so look that up. Yeah, there's a lot of glass here. It looks like somebody was in here not long ago. I mean, this all looks pretty, pretty fresh.
this deer absolutely doesn't mind and I'm next to it. Of course when you're deer hunting this never happens. Well, I'm still at it. I'm uh, actually moved to that site that I showed you earlier where we found all the broken glass. Um, probably been here for about you know, a little under an hour. Haven't really found a whole lot. Just a lot of time period glass and and pieces of nails and iron and garbage. But um, yeah, I don't know. It uh, definitely looks like it's been disturbed not too long ago. So somebody's been in here. I don't know if they sifted it or they dug for bottles. I mean, I'm not finding a whole lot of stuff. So it could have been sifted. I don't know. But that's a chance you take. I mean, you know, it's an old site, so I'm sure a lot of other people know about it and figured it out. So I don't know. I'm going to try it for a little bit longer and see what I can pull up. But I'll show you guys again. Uh, some of the stuff that's laying around and see what you guys think because there's a lot of telltale signs somebody was in here not long ago if you can see right there there's some clumps there somebody threw up some pieces of clumps I mean I showed you guys earlier I'm just digging in what was left of it but you know there's a lot of old old glass a lot of old blob top glass, time period glass, just a whole bunch of glass, so, I mean, this might not have even been a privy site, this could have been a trash pit with all this glass here, but who knows, I mean, it's kind of hard to research exactly where everything was, I mean, I know there's privy sites out here, so this could have been a trash area, looks like it was bulldozed in the years, you know, because there's a big mound right here, so... Yeah, nothing too exciting. Uh, you know, just wanted to show you guys. There's my setup there. And when I'm done, I'll shovel all this off the plastic and drag it back over here and lay everything out like I found it. So, yeah, definitely a lot of work. But, you know, it's treasure hunting. I mean, you never know what you're going to find. I'm well, nothing too exciting in this video today, but just wanted to show you guys it's something you can do if you don't have a detector, if you want to check out some sites like these, pretty simple. You can see I, my, my little homemade uh, sifter here, hardly got anything, only a few dollars into it. So, but yeah, it's uh, not been a stellar day, but that's how it is with everybody. It's part of treasure hunting, you know, you're looking for stuff, you know, some days you get lucky, some days you don't. Alright, well, I'm going to try it a little more. If I find something good, I'll show you. If not, then that wraps it up, and I'll see you next time, um, maybe at a new river site. Who knows?